another reason why Jim Crow Joe actually puts Donald Trump to to shame in terms of being a advocate, a promoter of the establishment, a promoter of capitalism, and a and a promoter of right wing politics. That's why MAGA politics is is hilarious to me uh, because they are saying Joe Biden is is under the influence of Democratic socialists in their party. He's he's secretly in Tifa. He's dragging the uh, the country too far to the left. And you have giant dumb dumbs like the dumbest people in politics. I'll give you guys a very specific example. Elon Musk. Elon Musk, one of the dumbest people in politics. <laughs> I barely know much about Elon. Uh, I've seen engineers that say he's very overrated. He's very dumb at that. He's just a capitalist who. And usually capitalists get ahead by being ruthless and more aggressive and having yeah, more resources than other capitalists. Capitalists don't get ahead because they're more brilliant. They usually do it because they're more vicious. They're more malicious. Uh, they want to engage in underhanded business tactics, union bust, and they have more resources to start off with, right? Um, but anyway, let's say Elon Musk is good at what he does, right? Anything outside of that, he is a massive, massive dumbass. And as evident, whenever he opens his mouth about anything, just like Ben Carson. Ben Carson is apparently the Michael Jordan of brain surgeons. But ask him about anything else outside of brain surgery, you're going to get the dumbest thing you're ever going to hear in your life. One thing that Elon Musk said was that, man, I used to like the Democratic Party. I actually still like Barack Obama. But now, under Joe Biden, the Democratic Party has gone too far left. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Joe Biden, the, the vice president that was chosen to appease moderates and right-wingers so they wouldn't be afraid of the black man on the ticket, and who has governed to Barack Obama's right on every single metric, somehow that guy is to the left of Barack Obama to the left of Trump and to the left of all the other government officials. Tell me how that makes sense. Now, look at this this graph, this facts and reality <laughs> of the, what's going on, which most people don't talk about. The United States sold weapons to 57% of the world's autocracies in 2022. Um, and this is, Joe Biden has sold more weapons already than we sold under the Trump years. What? Joe Biden is looking at Donald Trump like, you pussy. Huh? You, we already beat you in two years, three years. Meanwhile, Marjorie Taylor Greene and the right is pretending that Joe Biden is some sort of left-wing communist radical. This motherfucker is is running a state <laughs> that is masquerading an uh, arms dealer uh, uh, state masquerading as a country. Joe Biden is an arms dealer masquerading as an executive right now. Pretty much. And uh, I'll read uh, Stephen Dobzinger's tweet. Shocking! Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> President Biden in 2022 <laughs> sold weapons to majority of the world's brutal autocracy autocratic regimes more than during the trump years yet he professes to stand for democracies and human rights defense industry profits but does not drive foreign policy you want to know what's hilarious about this this is why i do not buy the bullshit and you guys should never buy the bullshit that come from the democrat party that wants to disarm you they anti-gun cj <laughs> they anti-gun violence meanwhile they joe biden is is fucking Al Capone of arm cells right now. <laughs> this boy's a Don uh, right now. This, he, he real life mafia shit. Uh, and they put on suits. And you guys pretend this is real. This motherfucker is a gangster. He's selling weapons like a gangster sells weapons. Why don't we talk about it like that? I don't understand. Liberals are against gun violence. We must end the scourge of gun violence. Jamal Bowman, he's going he to put on performance. He's going to wave his hands all wacky. He's going to talk about how we got to end gun violence. Meanwhile, his president is selling arms that's killing black, and getting black and brown people killed. The DHS said that Nazis are going to have a massive funnel of black weapons that's going to be funneled to them for years and decades to come. And guess what? There's nothing we can do about it now. 
those weapons are there, and there's nothing that we can do to get rid of them. Nope. If you, if you implement your gun control, do you think these terrorist cells, white supremacists, <laughs> <are the hope? laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot liberals? That's why I don't believe anything of what they say. 